So Nurkanat Rais of Kazakhstan makes his way towards the red corner. So Suleiman Aslami of the Fair Chance Team 1 makes his way to the blue corner. Maria Rizzardo of Italy is our referee. And we're underway in the middleweight division. Action from the third preliminary round, the round of 16, 46 boxers making up the middleweight 75 kilogram tournament. And the boxer wearing red, who is coming out behind a very active lead left hand, is Nurkanat Rais, 21 years of age. It's his first world championship tournament, his third bout of Belgrade 2021. His opponent, who has just taken a solid left jab to the body, tries to counter with the same shot himself. It's Suleiman Aslami, 22 years of age, part of the Fair Chance One team. Second bout of Belgrade 2021 for him, having received a bye in the first preliminary round. There is put on the end of a straight jab once, twice in quick succession. In his most recent outing in the round of 32 as he looks for a right hand over the top. And Raiz responded with a right hand to the body that was off the mark, but good left jab to the body from Raiz. And he's doing what he does by steadily applying pressure. Watch for his body punching of the straight variety in particular. Very effective, solid shots that seek to slow the man down that he's facing off against. But it was a points decision victory over Edwin Award of Congo. The 19, 2019 All Africa Games participant of Kenya, outpointed by Aslami. And you can see the pressure being increased. And there's a right hand to the body from Rais. Yet to take a national championship in Kazakhstan. Of course, you can say that about many boxers. Second place finisher last year, silver medalist in the domestic championships for the Central Asian nation. But here he is in his first world championships. And my goodness, he is establishing himself as certainly one to watch. Such rich tradition in and around that weight class from that nation, of course. Clipping left hook from Aslami not too far away. Counter right hand from the man in blue is an effective shot, but the activity and punch output from Raiz, notable indeed, as he scores with a left jab while on the back foot, takes a left jab to the body. Raiz dipping in front of his man, but the second jab really disruptive that landed for Raiz. So active. Heavy jab lands from Aslami, but he's being outworked not to the point of being overwhelmed, but he is being outboxed, outworked. There's a graze that's increasing in terms of redness on the right-hand side of his face. And this has been terrific punch output, sustained from opening bell to last from Nurkanat Rais of Kazakhstan. Non-stop punching practically for the entire three minutes. So, a unanimous card returned in favor of Raiz, including two scorecards of 10-8.
from the judges from France and Trinidad and Tobago. Some of the action then from the first round where invariably <laughs> Raiz is letting his hands go. Incredible punch output. So into the second round then. Nur Kanat Reis, the 21-year-old from the Atirao region of Kazakhstan, was sensational in the first round. A competent boxer like Suleiman Aslami of the Fair Chance One team. Two-time national champion of Afghanistan, not able to get a foothold in the contest in any way, shape or form. Back-to-back -back national titles for Aslami in 2019 and 2020. Competed in the Asian Continental Championships earlier this year. He was eliminated in the first preliminary round. But here on the global stage, just been put on the end of straight punches like that. And when he has occasional successes, well, Raiz, he doesn't even blink, certainly doesn't budge. Keeps on coming forwards. And his presence and pressure that's fatiguing in itself just always thinking because you're always in punching range and then he lets his hands go like that and Aslami has to back up further get the impression that Raiz is a really strong puncher as well because the deeper we go into contests oftentimes the more reluctant his opponents are to let their hands go it's incessant punch output Aslami with a good counter left hand to the body but the volume and variety as a hard left hand is turned underneath to the solar plexus of the man in blue, then a left jab upstairs while Aslami was looking for a right cross. It is absolutely terrific to watch. Must be very difficult to be on the receiving end of, and credit again to Aslami for his competitiveness because he's continuing to try to find a way to get himself into this contest. But at this type of punch output that he's been able to produce against this type of opponent, well, look at that, jabs. Has the mouthpiece been dislodged? But jabs, crosses, everything penetrating the defences of Aslami from Nurkanat Raiz. Simply no respite because of the pressure constantly being applied. Here Raiz gets onto the back foot for a rare occasion in this contest. Right hook fired in by Aslami, slapping left hand landed by the man in blue, and then a left uppercut. So by electing to back off, As Raiz has seen Aslami enjoy his best portion of the bout so far. So perhaps he was just taking a breather, but then he scores a beautiful right cross off the back foot, catching Aslami as he was advancing, and it brings about a standing count from the referee. Left jab on a resumption, and then a left jab followed upstairs from Raiz. Well, that was brilliant boxing once again, because he was on the front foot for, what, the first two minutes, 20 seconds of the round? Started to go backwards a little bit. Aslami seizing the opportunity, coming forwards, and then he was run on to a beautiful right cross off the back foot from Raiz. Another Unanimous set of cards, three 10-8 scorecards returned this time from the judge from Trinidad and Tobago and judge four, three and five as well. So very clever display from Raiz. The manner in which he changed his approach by going on the back foot. Just set a trap that Aslami Ran into taking the bait and being put on to the end of that right cross, which brought about a standing count. So we go into the third and final round, and after a brief period in the neutral corner for both boxers, Raiz sprinted out of his to take up residence in center ring once more and begin with his non-stop punch output from both both hands, but particularly the, particularly the lead left. 
right hand success for Aslami during that exchange, but it was countered by a single right hand from Raiz. And again, no hiding or running from Aslami. He's in there still believing that he can win this, but he takes a double right hand there. And that another solid right hand and another one landed by Aslami, who is keeping his composure, keeping his shape, despite the volume of punches that have landed as scoring shots from the busy boxing gloves of Raiz. Corkscrew left hand wasn't too far away from Aslami. Nice left jab once again, had plenty of weight on it, but Aslami continues to press forwards, right hand over the top, left jab to the body. Good exchange, where Aslami exjoined, exjoined success to body and head again, and a big right cross backs up Aslami. He skits in an anti-clockwise direction to get back to center ring. And these are some terrific trade-offs we're witnessing here at center ring. Aslami possesses a fair amount of pop on his punches, but Raiz so well conditioned. And he will back himself in any exchange that unfolds. No expression when and mouthpieces come. Oh my goodness. Well, perhaps it's a good thing that Raiz didn't land that shot. I say a good thing from Aslami's point of view, because Aslami went to catch it before the referee called time to stop the contest and retrieve the dislodged mouthpiece. And if that right hand would have landed on what was a rather unprotected chin, it could well have been lights out because Raiz, he wasn't bracing himself for the shot because he was trying reflexively to catch the mouthpiece that had just been dislodged by a shot. Good right hand landed by Aslami. Aslami with head movement in the pocket. He goes in search of the right cross once again. Brings a roundhouse left out of the orthodox stance. Good left hand landed by Aslami. But with Raiz holding his feet and not pressing forwards, he's enjoying a good portion of this third round. Good left right success again from the man from the fair chance team. And again, that an initiative of, Aie of Aiba. to ensure that athletes who have experienced displacement from their homelands can continue to pursue their Aiba boxing careers and showcase their talents on the global stage. So 10 second clapper then. Overhand right is an eye-catching shot once again. Back comes Raiz with a roundhouse right as the two boxers compete right up until the final bell. It will be Nurkanat Raiz who is going through after a brilliant first six minutes. This man got himself back into it in the third and final round, but there can be little doubt about the victor here. It will be Nurkanat Raiz of Kazakhstan who will progress to the middleweight quarterfinals. So there is confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Nurkanat Raiz of Kazakhstan. Taking all three rounds for four of the five scoring judges. And he goes through to the middleweight quarterfinals. Suleiman Aslami of the Fair Chance team, the two-time national champion of Afghanistan, eliminated at the end of his second bout here in Belgrade 2021. Competed all the way through it but always chasing the skill set and talent that Raiz was able to demonstrate during that third preliminary round encounter. 